Previously on JSG Play Center. Do you guys hear that? There's somebody back there. Hello, little girl. We've been looking all over for you. I'm not signing any autographs today. You can't back up any further, little girl. You're gonna come with us. We have the girl. What do you guys want from me? We captured you because we know you know how to get places that we can't go. You and your little gang are gonna help us do something. Listen up guys, there's something we need to do. Brain, tell them the plan. Okay team, well here's our job. The Red King has tasked us with grabbing supplies from the military. He, uh, I guess he uh, supposes that we're smaller so we can sneak in there just because our friend here, Baby Doll, has been getting in there for a while and sneaking a few supplies. But we're on a big task now. So we're going to call in some help from Mike Flores. He's going to tell them his stories to distract them. Before we became a zombie apocalypse, I was walking down the street one day and I saw somebody and they were pretty big and I was like, how did you get so big? And they said, they... Uh, were uh, eating lots of meat. And I said, do you eat meat? I am a, a vegan. I do not eat meat. But they, they assured me meat is safe to eat. So I tried meat and I was like, wow, this is good stuff. Uh, how, do you, how do you get meat? And then they showed me the, the freezer and uh, in the freezer was uh, another person. Can somebody shut this guy up? Can you stop talking? Go away. We don't want you here at our gate. Go. Go bother somebody else. Go on, get... Meanwhile, Little Red and Diamond will be gathering supplies from the south side of the building and moving them into the shack. Okay, we got it all. Hey, where did our supplies go? It was you. You took it, didn't you? Meanwhile, Big Baby is going to be taking out the guards on top of the roof. With the guards knocked out, Dal and I will be crossing the rooftops to make our way into the facility. We're gonna make our way onto the truck. Okay, we're here now, so can you start the truck? I think that this switch here will, uh oh, it's moving. Is this part of the plan? Yeah, this is the part where we quickly throw everything in the back of the truck and get out of here. Guys are here. Are you guys done chasing around me here? Come on in and bring your friends. I think it's time to have a party. So, Michael, I hear you have good stories to tell. Let me hear one of these stories you got. Oh yeah, so I have lots of stories. So it was Halloween one day, and there was kids took a tweet and they come to my house. So I had my light on, and they said uh, they come over and they they come to my door and they said took a tweet. And I don't have candy, so I have to do a twig. So I do a, a backflip, and then I broke up my TV. And then they say, ha ha, that was a good twig. Now give us candy. And I said, I don't have candy. I'll give you a new twig. You want me to do another twig? And then they said, yeah. And then I, um, I do a front flip, and I, and I, 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 fell, out, oh, I, I, I fell down the stairs. Uh, there was a staircase in my front porch. I fell down the stairs. And then they, they, were, they were very happy kids. They left laughing. Okay, I think it's enough of story time. Uh, we don't need to hear anything else. So, I was watching TV one day, and then uh, the, the show must have been over because the commercial was on. And the, the commercial had, uh, uh, the commercial was for the Hemorrhoid. And I was wondering, how, how did they know I had Hemorrhoid? They put the commercial on for me, uh, for the Hemorrhoid. So, I was going to buy it, but they did not, uh, they did not give me any information on how to buy it. They just showed, this is a, the, the, this is medicine for hemorrhoid, and then they, then they left. They did not tell me where to go buy it. So, so I was wondering, well, how do I find the medicine for the hemorrhoid? Okay, that's enough. 
please. No more stories. I think we've heard enough. Uh, anybody else? So I was walking down the street one day and there was someone, people, and they were very happy. And I had to ask them, why, why are you guys so happy? And they said, we got promotion. Uh, you got promotion? And I said, uh, so does that mean you get paid more money? They said, no, we just get promotion. We, we got uh, more responsibilities at work. We got uh, promotion. I said, but boy, what's so exciting about promotion? You don't get more money. Please, can somebody stop this nightmare? I don't think I can take any more. Uh, can can you guys all just leave? So this one time I was sleeping and I was woken up in the middle of the night.